What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be showing some more Project Cars 2 gameplay in virtual reality. Let's go check it out. If you're a fan of Project Cars 2 and you'd like to see content from this game every week, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. We're going to be taking a look at the Radical SR8 car on the Alton Park circuit in this video. I personally think this is one of the coolest car and track combos this car has a ton of downforce, has great cornering ability, and this course has a lot of varying types of corners that makes it a lot of fun. I definitely recommend giving this combo a try if you can. I believe this series is called Track Day A for the different types of vehicles that you'll be going up against. You've got cars like this Radical here, you've got the P1 GTR up in front of me like you can see, and I believe there's also the Zonda R maybe is in this class, which I think that's what's up in front. Obviously that car has the best straight line speed, uh, but I believe this car may give it a run for its money in terms of handling. And this Alton Park circuit has definitely trends more towards uh, cars that handle well versus just straight line top speed and acceleration. I really like the elevation change and the varying types of turns here. Let's see if we can catch up with some of these Zondas up in front. That corner can be a little bit tricky, actually, because you're coming in pretty fast. It's kind of a long sweeping turn. And this one I hear can be tricky as well because it's kind of a kink, so you have to turn quickly but still maintain speed so you can kind of power slide it a little bit. It is tough trying to catch up to these Zondas. Maybe in these little hairpin turns I can kind of make up some ground. If you guys are fans of Project Cars 2 and like to see more content, I have another video that I'll link up in the card at the top right of the screen that you, that you should also go check out. That race was another virtual reality race, but I was in the Nissan GTR in that one, in a rainy Laguna Seca race. This combination of like open top car with very good handling in a track that's got a lot of corners that are fun as well as being in virtual reality is just so much fun. You kind of get that swaying back and forth action and it kind of is like a roller coaster ride almost. Sun is starting to set so you can see the headlights starting to come on. I really like doing these sunset races where you start sort of around sunset and you boost up the time progression so over the course of the race it gets darker and darker. Just kind of makes it a little bit more dynamic in my opinion. If you get this corner correct it's actually really rewarding. Can't say I did there because I had to slow down for those guys in front of me but when you're not hamstrung by the guys in front it can be a lot of fun. I tried to go for the inside pass there and I really had to pay for that one. Lost like three or four positions. That's okay though. I'll go ahead and pass you there. Try to get some of my positions back. I believe this is the last lap, so this is it. Catching up a little bit to this guy, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to overtake him before race is over.
Oh, come on. No. That P1's got better straight line speed than I do. Yeah, you can tell. Alright guys, race is over. Ended up finishing 6th. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see Project Cars 2 content every week, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. Once again, I'm Daniel. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.